All right, anyway, back to the game. All right, let's look at this team. We got two ghosts. We got a dragon. Volcarona was a little bit of an issue earlier. Espeon is an issue for Klefki. I don't really want to deal with that. We have Trevenant, which can deal with Espeon and Gengar and and Aegislash if set up properly. Azumarill should be able to deal with that Garchomp and maybe that Volcarona if we can get him in position. Archeops, if I remember correctly, is Rock Flying. So Ice Moves are pretty good, so Walrin and Nidoking should be able to deal with that. We've also got T-Bolt on Porygon and Nidoking. So as long as we get things set up properly, we might do okay. But again, we got to set things up properly. Uh, okay. So, hello, everybody. This is DKG's Avos. We just got done with a 35-minute battle. My brain is fried. It's the last match of the day. So far, my win-loss has been pretty good, and I'm a little worried about it now. But hey, we got a good intro. I was kind of expecting to see the um, Espeon come out first. And so Nidoking was going to be a really bad idea. But anything else, anything else but Espeon, we would have been okay with Nidoking. So I'm pretty happy to see that it is not... I mean, I'm really happy to see it. So now we're going to get some free... Oh, no, we're not going to get free damage. Oh, that sucks. Earth Power is not going to do anything. I was expecting that we might get some free damage off, but nope, no dice. So now we're just... Ooh, Ice Beam would be better. I'm going for T-Bolt here. Switcheroo, what is our switcheroo? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Quick Powder. Okay. T-Bolt. Not going to do as much, but we have Sheer Force, so it's still okay. Now, Sheer Force Life Orb. The Life Orb damage that would normally come along with Life Orb is counteracted by sheer force as long as there's a secondary effect from the move that you're using. Alright, now Garchomp. Garchomp is a bit of an issue, but we do have Quick Powder, so that's a thing. So maybe Quick Powder will help us out. I don't know. Mega Garchomp's a little bit slower. I think it's 10 base speed slower, but it's also more bulky than a normal Garchomp. But he is also Dragon Ground, so... Unfortunately, the Quick Powder didn't help Nidoking out. I was hoping that it would, so that's why we kept Nidoking in. I told you, decision-making, not, not the greatest right now. Unfortunate. Alright. Hmm. Where do we want to go from here? I think we're going to have to go with Trevenant. Man, keeping Nidoking in was a really bad choice. We knew the Earthquake was coming. Klefki has got an air balloon on him. We would have been able to switch safely. And then even into Trevenant. Trevenant would have been a better choice. Trevenant would have taken that EQ, no problem. Especially now that we know that it's not choice banded. Physical wall, Trevenant. Horn Leech, what you got for me? Tell me it's good. It's going to be enough. It's not good, but it's enough. Alright, as long as it's not crazy... Man. Alright. We got this. Bring it back. Bring it back. Trevenant's alive enough that we could go for rest and then whatever. It's just not gonna be worth it. Because then he's gonna be down at half HP. So we're gonna go for we're gonna go into a Zoomerill, because we know that Crunch is coming our way. We're gonna be able to resist it. We're gonna be able to resist dragon moves. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine with that. Awesome. Okay. Now, he's got a decent amount that he's going to be able to switch into and resist this fairy move coming his way. We don't have to worry about that so much. Gengar coming in is not what I was expecting. Had it been something like Aegis Slash, that would have been a real big problem. Like, real big problem. Gengar is able to, to survive that just because he's a poison type. Poison type resists fairy, but I've got stab priority Aqua Jet, so I'm going to be able to finish off Gengar. Um, caught him on a switch, 
I was really expecting to see Aegislash come in. Aegislash has the defense to be able to take it, so I'm just going to assume right now that that's just a misclick, because now he's coming out. So, unfortunately, they're uh, losing Gengar. That sucks a lot. Nobody wants to lose Gengar that quick. Now, there are two ways that you can run Aegislash. You can either run him physically or special. So, because I don't know what it is, I don't know who to put in. And I really don't want to put Trevenant in against, well, Aegislash. Because Ghost Moves and Shadow Sneak, that's going to suck. So, instead of doing that, I'm going to go into Porygon. Because, well, King Shield is usually the first move out. So, we should be okay. Now, we're not going to have a whole lot that's really going to do a lot to him. But we're going to be able to at least hit him. Swords Dance does signify that, hey, this is a physical attacking. But we're not going to have to worry about Shadow Sneak, so we are going to be able to outspeed him. That's a nice thing. It does mean that we have to worry about Iron Head instead. Oh, Sacred Sword. Who? That's not normally run. Sacred Sword is dangerous, though. But we got the T-Bolt off. This is Eviolite Porygon 2. That's why he survived. That's the only reason. Only reason. And the fact that it's a non-stab move. Which I think it's weird, having a signature move on a Pokemon that's non-stab. I think that's kind of shady. But now that we've got Porygon 2 in a little bit of trouble, uh, Garchomp coming out. we got to switch out. And we got to switch out into Azumarill. That's just it. I don't think he's going to go for something like Dragon Claw. I don't think he's going to go for Outrage, but Crunch, we're still going to be able to resist. I kind of figured it was going to be Earthquake. Either way, Azumarill was probably going to be the best bet there. Now, Garchomp, I don't think that he's really going to want to stay in, even with an EQ. Stab EQ, probably not going to do that much to Azumarill. We've cleared out Aegis Slash. We've cleared out Gengar. So I feel like we've got some of our best heavy hitters on his team cleared out right now. Oh, the flinches! Hmm. No good. Flinches, no good. Dang it. That's not good for us. Flinches are definitely no good. Alright. That puts a little bit of a damper in things. Rock Slide, pretty good move. I can't really go for anything else. I need a safe switch into whatever else comes out. Now lacking Nido King without any support. Um, that sucks. Really, that's not going to do anything, but some damage better than no damage. If I'm going to lose Azumarill no matter what, because um, I can't really switch Azumarill in, I'm going to have to sacrifice a Pokemon no matter what. Alright, now we got to play Risky. Got to play Risky. It sucks, but we're going to have to do it. We're going for Swagger. We can't paralyze him because of his ground move, but we've got some priority. We've got an air balloon so that we know that we're going to resist the first shot that he's got coming at us. If we get some confused damage in here, we're going to be okay. And now the question is, what's going to come up next? But it shouldn't really matter, because we got confused damage on one out of the two. So, Rock Slide, it's going to pop the Air Balloon, but we're going to keep Klefki alive, even though it's plus two. Air Balloon is popped, and then we're going to go for Foul Play. Foul Play makes it so that we base every all of our damage off of his attack stat. His attack stat's pretty freaking high, and we just increased it two stages. We doubled his attack stat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. Alright, we can go for light screen, try and survive whatever comes out, which might be a good option, or we can go for T-Wave. Ooh, T-Wave does sound good. I'm going to go for light screen, though. I'm going to go for it. Go for light screen, hope that Klefki survives. It's a little bit of a shot in the dark. But with Quiver Dance, it made it worthwhile. Alright, cool. Good to go. Special attack, special defense, speed. One stage on each of those. I'm going to go for for the T-Wave. And then we're going to be able to go for Swagger Hacks and Confuse with Paralyze. We've got the... Uh, he only needs one more Quiver Dance to deal with 
the special defense that we've got going with light screen. But we did at least paralyze it, so we're good to go. All right. Now, Klefki is still alive. We need to keep him that way. We're going with Warren. Warren's our special defensive wall. He's going to be able to, I mean, neutral damage to these things. Neutral damage, neutral damage, neutral damage. Critical hacks, though. That's not good for us. Critical hacks, no good. We do have paralysis on him. He does have plus two speed, so he's basically overcome it. Uh, Walren is going to outspeed him, though. Oh, man, I didn't expect that. Water Pulse coming in. Not for a whole lot of damage, though, because of his special defense. Fiery Dance. Oh, no. Oh, this is rough. Real rough. Come on, Water Pulse. I'm pretty sure Water Pulse does have the ability... Oh, come on, Water Pulse. Check moves. Yeah, it may also confuse the target. We haven't seen it confuse yet. We've used it more than 10 times, even if it's only 10%. You'd think that 1 in 10 would probably happen if it's 10%, but we're going for Water Pulse again. Hope for some confusion. Or Paralysis. We're okay with that. I'm okay with either one. Regain some of that lefties. I'm not going for hail at this point. Because I just don't think it's going to be worthwhile. Water pulse, unless it's a crit, probably not going to kill him. It's going to get close, though. Oh, he's going for quiver dance. Going to try and outspeed us. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that speed brings him over the edge. Oh, it might, though. That really might bring him over the edge. Hmm. If he is faster than us, then he might be paralyzed. If he's slower than us, then Water Pulse is the best move, but I'm going for Hail so that I can regenerate some HP if we're... St oh, no, we are faster. Oh, that's not the right move. I thought he was going to be faster than us with that last Quiver Dance. If he's paralyzed, we're okay. Oh, that was luck. That was not the right move. I didn't think he was going to be faster than us. Or I did think he was going to be fast enough, so that's a miscalculation on my part. Got lucky with the para hacks. RNG on our side today with that. Wow. Ugh. That was bad. That was crazy. Alright, so now I've got Ice Body. I've got Hail Up. I'm going to go ahead and go for Protect here. Try and regenerate some of that HP back. He's going to go for the Calm Mind. I think he's going for the Espeon Sweep. Hmm. He's going to need that special attack, though. That's for sure. Alright, so what do we got here? We got Trevenant, we got Porygon 2. I don't think Porygon 2 is going to outspeed. We can't do anything against Magic Guard. And I don't want to sacrifice Trevenant at this point. I really want to get into... Because he's got Phantom Force. That's the real reason I don't want to sacrifice Trevenant. Porygon 2. I don't think he's going to outspeed. Oh, I can't switch anything. Ugh. I really can't switch anything out. I gotta hope that Walren can take this and deal some damage. Calm Mind coming in. We're going for Frost Breath, Icy Breath, the, the frosty one that... <sighs> That's all I got. Always gonna be a critical hit. Always, always, always gonna be a critical hit. I don't know how... He can't go for another Calm Mind, though. He really can't. He has to hit me now. Like, he can't risk me hitting him with another Icy thing. Otherwise, he's dead. So, I went for Protect. Got more Hail damage. 
ice body with the leftovers. And again, that was just like playing the odds here. I knew that if I hit him one more time, that he would be dead. He knows that if I hit him one more time, he's dead. So that's the end of his Calm Minding ability. So now we get the Protect on at the perfect time. Get as much HP as possible. Try and survive this hit with our special defensive wall, Walrin. That's why he's named Walrin, because he's a special defensive wall. Oh. Nothing else on my team was going to be outspeeding that thing. If I couldn't take him out with Walrin, I was dead. Just dead. Because what did I have left? I had... Well... I had Klefki, so I could have put up a light screen. Might have been able to survive something. But unfortunately, I had Trevenant, which is my physically defensive Trevenant. So even then, anything would have taken him out. Especially with three Calm Minds. Like, he's still going to be able to sweep through. I mean, he's not going to resist anything. And then on top of that, I had Porygon 2, which had In the Red. So I wasn't going to get a recover off, and I wasn't going to be able to survive a shot in the red. So GG. I mean, that was my last Pokemon. That was it. That was the only thing I had left. That was my last ditch effort with Walrin. Whew. GG.